Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is part two of the fabulous folios um, video that I'm sharing with you today and um, no prize for seeing there's a slight difference between the first video and the second video. I had um, a few more of these um, green ones to share with you um, but between doing the first video and this video um, a few more of them have, have disappeared so I'm so sorry um, I only have these two um, now left in my Etsy shop to um, to share with you so I'll do a very quick run through of these and you can see what's what um, they're very similar um, internally to the ones in the previous video there's all there's slight variations on the theme in each and every one of them um, enough for me to be able to to show you what's different so that you know what um, what you're getting if you're interested in in purchasing these um, but basically they they all have the the same elements inside so these ones have been made with the 49 and market vintage artistry sage green paper collection and um, this is a, a brand new collection that they've brought out recently and I have to say I absolutely love it um, it's so delicate um, just absolutely beautiful very natural and um, soft gentle um, images and delicate pastel shades um, so it just really really lent itself for me to to play with it and make these folios so this first one on here this one actually is my favorite and the one I'm actually struggling to let go but I I will do this one is number 21 and she comes with a vintage lace envelope um, this one is number seven and she comes also with a vintage lace envelope. So I'll go through number 21 first and we can take it from there. So that's the envelope and same as in the previous video, the link is down below if you want to see how I made these and make one for yourself. Okay, so um, green seam binding crinkled seam binding on the front acting as my closure vintage and contemporary lace here this was some vintage french lace that i had in my stash and it's slightly off white and then there's this fine contemporary lace that i've layered underneath it this beautiful paper um, at the side there is um, a number token ranger number token and a ranger metal uh i think they're called store story labels and it says found on that and it's a ball chain and a bulldog clip which is also in green in on the back there is a lace pocket and this is the little booklet that came out of that pocket so it sits in there like, just like so. Um, this is also part of the paper collection. As you can see, it's got ferns and butterflies on. Three hole pamphlet stitch and stitched, um, same as the other little booklets with a vintage um, mother of pearl button. That's the back. And inside there is a little frame that acts as a tuck spot with a little piece of ephemera inside. This is um, Ranger Ephemera from their um, ephem one of the Ephemera packs. I'm not sure which one it was. Um, a tiny little piece of collaging here with some lace and vintage book pages and a tiny, tiny Mother of Pearl button. I love those really tiny ones. Um, again, vocab page from a French dictionary. More collaging on the edge of the page there, just with paper this time. Um, a homemade well tail tab a mini one and that just folds open like so some lace and um, indenture paper collaging down there uh, I think that's an Italian book page more collaging this is some of the vintage lace um, from left over from when I did the lace inside those envelopes some Bismarck German book page uh, music page, more collaging, 
bit more, a little tab, and a tiny tab, and another little mini whale tail. I love those, they're so cute and they're, if you saw my tutorial on how to do those, they're so easy and you can do them any size to fit any size journal. Um, so really easy to do. Uh, just a botanical image there and one of the ranger discs that goes in a vellum pocket at the back. So that's that little booklet and then going inside, same sort of layout um, we have at the top here, we have a double pocket so again you've got three little tags using the paper collection for you to decorate and another two on this side. And then one I've made here with a butterfly on and some German book page on some craft paper and then some little ephemera pieces for you to play with in that little tuck spot there. And then going down to the bottom, um, here I've done one of the little snippet um, paperclip tabs on this flip out. Here is a botanical book page tag with, whoops, can't get the tea card out of this one. Whoops, well, that's well and truly stuck in there. Well, there's a tea card in there <laughs> or a cigarette card, a vintage one, and it's well and truly stuck in, but uh, probably just wants easing with um, a bone folder or a ruler um, down um, inside the glassine bag. Um, to ease it off but I'm not going to do that just now and there's a glassine envelope on the back of that flip there then here there's a fussy cut image and one of those ranger transparencies that I've stitched round and then one of those raggedy snippets that I've slow stitched with green and pink knots, some Edith Holden and some Broadway Angli, so that just tucks in there. And as I said on the previous one, you could use these for all sorts. You could put this down the side of your journal page and have it as a large tab. You could put it at the bottom of a page and have it as a tuck spot down there, or it could be a side tuck, or just as a floating embellishment in your, your journal really easy to do and very fun actually. I really enjoyed my afternoon making those and um, I was actually sat out in the garden in the sunshine sewing those so it was lovely. Um, this is a vintage um, Kodachrome um, slide and I've just put a tracing paper image of a bird inside it so I've altered it. Um, and then there's just a couple of pieces of ephemera that go in this corner tuck spot down here what's happening here there we go um, that go in this little corner tuck spot down down there and then here um, we have if I pull it out we have um, one of those paper clips with lace and linen and book pages vintage buttons uh, a couple of French flashcards, another tag in here, um, a ranger letter card, and some. There's a couple of little tiny playing cards that I've backed with tea stained paper, another piece of ephemera here, and a book ticket. Um, sorry a um, bus ticket there so that those all go in there like so um, I've just put the um, bookmark on these two um, flashcards because it makes it easier to have them hanging like so on this front portion here um, I've stitched round the Tim Holtz slotted um, die and put a piece of lace on the bottom and here are a couple of little tiny crochet flowers that I've just glued onto the front pocket, uh, onto the front 
uh, lace. There's a pocket in the side with a journaling card tucked in there. And then, same as before in the other video, we have some mini jigsaw pieces in there, some mini whale tails, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry about that. <laughs> it's horrible when you feel a sneeze coming. You can't do anything about it. So, sorry about that. Please excuse me. Um, some little mini tags in that one. And as I said before, all of these are cut with the exception of the little jigsaw pieces. They're all cut from the um, paper collection. There is a faux um, button card with a range of little um, flower on. And we have another one of those French book page um uh, envelopes that I've made and again I said I've left these fairly plain I've just put a little bit of washi on and a little stamp on just to put some form of decoration on them but these are really left plain um, so that you can um, put your own stamp um, on them and decorate them as you will so again more frames some more tabs and some more little squares in there um, we have a frame at the back here that I've glued in and I've just made a tab or a tag with a fabric stamped tab on it and that just slides in there like so and then here we have a specimen um, tag of a fern with remnant rubs and mini um, tags and then this is a little file folder with some linen down the side, a little bit of um, a charm here. This is a press stud piece and uh, a letter. And inside we have um, some pieces from the paper collection that you can embellish your um, journal with. So that's this little one. And I'll just quickly put it back together very, very quickly. As I say, there is an art to putting these together and I tend to have to do it when I've just taken it apart so that I remember how I got it all out. There we go. That tucks in behind like so. So that closes over there like that. That closes up like that. And then that one comes down. And wrap it around a couple of times with the seam binding and I haven't done a very good bow on that one this time and then this just clips on the side like so where are we? there we go and this goes in the back pocket like so so this was number 21 in case you're interested and as I say the listing will be down below um, for this folio in my Etsy shop okay so that's that one and then this one is number seven and it doesn't have a store a metal story um, label on it it has a, a number label on it as well but again on the bulldog clip this is the envelope that comes with um, this um, folio and this is how she looks. This isn't a removable paper clip, this is just um, some um, collaging with lace and um, book pages that I've glued, glued on it. This is how it looks on the back and this is more of a fabric pocket whereas the other one was uh, an open weave lace pocket again a three hole pamphlet stitch with a little bit of stamping on um, collaging here with a button on it this is what it looks like inside so again another one of the little frames and a little piece of ephemera tucked in there some collaging whoops getting frames sorry about that this is some um, vintage French lace and that's a tiny, tiny bit of the, the lace from the envelope. Dictionary pages before, oh, tiny little 
tag if I can get it out in this pocket there we go which I've stitched round and put a bit of linen at the top um, a little tab there a bit of stamping at the bottom there snip it with a tag and a vintage button all collaging here with an eyelet at the top just flips out collaging stamping and a tiny little envelope on the back here with a tiny little piece of ephemera inside whoops a daisy so that just goes back inside that envelope and it just clips over the page with one of these gorgeous 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 little tiny Tim Holtz paper clips just love those and then this is a stamped um, linen pocket at the back and I've just put a little um, ephemera piece in there, a little picture of um, a boy and his dog which I thought was quite cute. Okay so that's that and then going inside uh, I've done a double bow on this one and these covers are um, they're quite sturdy they are fairly plain and um, just very, very subtle colours, but I have stitched all the way round um, the covers. So here we go. So again at the top, the double pockets. There we go. And this one with fabric tag is on there. And then let's pop that one in there and then that goes over the top like so. And then a couple of little ephemera pieces here that come out. Down at the bottom, there's a tag behind this one shilling card there. Um, there's a piece of linen holding this paper clip in place. This is the botanical book page tag. This one actually comes out. Whoa, <laughs> got it right on that occasion. Um, this one comes out like so. Again, a fussy cut corner here or tuck spot here with a raggedy snippet, slow stitched with some broad ray anglais. And I'm not sure if you can pick these up on the camera. Probably not, because my camera is useless, I'm afraid. But in the centre of each one of these daisies, there's uh, like a milky white seed bead. And then just some colonial knots here. And I love this little piece of paper because that reminded me of a swallow or a house martin in the blue skies. So I just thought that was pretty. wanted to include that on, on there. So that just tucks in behind there. There's... A butterfly in the corner with some vintage tickets and ephemera from Ranger. And they just sit in there like so. Again, same sort of thing, one of these paper clips, which looks like so. And again, lots of bits and pieces tucked into this slotted die. There's the two flashcards there at the back and some images this time I've included and some little tiny pieces of ledger from one of the Ranger ephemera packs. Very sweet they are. And again, um, stitched all the way round and lace on the bottom and then these crochet flowers that I put on there and I'm just going to pop that back on the flashcards there we go just 
it's on there so this opens out there is a journaling card inside the side pocket there then there's a little bit of a tuck spot at the bottom and here's the transparency and a little tag I've made the tags are just very very simple for you to embellish as I say the idea is for you to put your own stamp on these um, these folios there's your um, button card your jigsaw pieces your mini whale tails and your whoops and your tabs there's your Kodachrome slide that I've got a um, ranger image photocopied onto some vellum. There is a tab or a tag in this pocket here or this frame here. Um, this is the book page envelope with your bits and bobs in, so your frames, your squares and your other tabs so there's quite a few in there I think there's six is there one two three four five six from the paper kit all double-sided for you to use and same with the frames and the embossed raggedy edged or scalloped edged squares and here's your specimen tag And this is the little mini file folder, all stitched round. And these are your goodies inside, some more goodies from the, uh, the paper collection. So there's more tabs there, some more paper. Uh, I think these are like um, more tabs there. There's some of these banner kind of um, tabs for you to use. Or chop up. There's a little die cut butterfly there, and um, something akin to um, one of the guest checks that you see. So there we go. That's the second one. And as I say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did have a few more of these that I intended to show and um, stock up in my Etsy shop, but. Um, I obviously wasn't quick enough. I thought I would be clever and I thought I would list them in the Etsy shop first so that you guys wouldn't be waiting if you wanted to go and buy one and you wouldn't have to do this, oh, I'm going to list them at 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon business if you wanted to get on with your weekend. But unfortunately, um, somebody has obviously seen them in the Etsy shop and, and they've gone before I could actually get the videos up and up and loaded. So I am so sorry. Um, that I only have a few that I'm able to um, uh, show you and pop into the Etsy shop now. But um, hopefully, if you if you're interested in in one, you'll be able to uh, nip over there quickly and um, get hold of one. Um, I also have some exciting news that I'd like to share with you. I will be doing a video I've just made an absolute mess of that <laughs> I'm just going to retire it retire I am going to be doing um, a video um, my next video um, later on today or first thing in the morning and it will be believe it or not finally 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 my subscriber um, 1000 uh, giveaway um, video so please um, keep your eyes peeled as I say I hope to do it tonight oh can't can't tie on camera can I um, I hope to do it tonight and get it uploaded tonight but if not it will be first thing in the morning and um, I will be able to show you what I planned to um, uh, give you as my giveaway um, challenge so Thank you so much, everybody, as always, for bearing with me and letting me share these folios with you. I had great fun making them over the um, last couple of weeks, off and on. Um, it was great fun and a massive, massive thank you once again to um, Susie for her wonderful inspiration um, for these um, folios. So thank you. 
a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye now.